Hey guys, it's Marshmallow Girl, and welcome back to home. So, we're just picking up right where we left off. Dirty old picnic table sat alone amongst the trees. It had carvings and markings from years previous campers. I also tried to read some of the names and the marks. I idly thumbed the knife I found. I wonder... I, I wanted to... If I wanted to, I could carve something on the table. Yes, yeah, sure. The few crude strokes I issued simple design into the woods. Okay. There's some other names and notes. Okay. I hope this isn't important to remember. Uncle Phil. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to pick up right where I left off because I really need to finish this. Path ended cold looking river. I wasn't sure if it was safe to cross. Did I cross it? Don't be a fan. Okay, let's go. Two bodies. Two young women. They were half dead in the hasty graves between the trees. The younger looking one was sitting up. Her face was sitting face up. Her dead eyes glistening against my flashlight. I had no idea who these girls were. Did I touch the grave? I didn't touch... Uh, I tried to arrange the bodies so their clothes covered them better. I closed the young one's eyes, shivering at the slight touch. With a few nearby sticks, I created a head marker so the police could find them later. Uh, okay. Probably not the best idea. Because in all honesty, I'm probably going to get blamed for that. Because I just... But it felt like the right thing to do. Well, I'm just hang out here with the two dead girls. I, I'm just touching things unnecessarily, I, probably. And I'm going to get in trouble for sure. But it, it didn't feel right to leave them like that, so I didn't. Okay. Oh, that's my card. Why would I? I don't understand why I would leave it. There must be a through the fence. I could see a dilapidated outbuilding. I wondered if I could find a way around. Um, there must be a reason why you would leave all this stuff behind. But what that reason is, I, I couldn't tell you. There's the notebook. Yep. Cheap. <laughs> I don't know why you gotta insult, insult the journal. That's not nice. Rachel. Yep, 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 yep. I hope I'm doing this right. That was the whole point of coming back and playing again was doing it correctly. But unfortunately, I have no way of knowing if what I'm doing is right or wrong. Alright, found the outbuilding. With this thing to, uh, okay. There was a damp smelling plank. Yeah. Was I not supposed? Oh, was I not supposed to just cross it with my, the frozen water with my, <laughs> my exposed legs? I liked it because, well, I'm an idiot. The sign was the same as the first one I'd seen. Must have been an egg to the other side of the woods. I'd finally found the exit. Uh, oh, I don't want to do that because I think my ID is somewhere in here, but. Um, 
I also just got that plank of wood, so I feel like I should go take that over there. I don't know why. Maybe my ID's not out here? It's hard to remember. Maybe I find it in the car. Okay. The flick I found was long enough to form a crude fridge, but I wasn't sure if it would hold. Yep. Well, that sounded like I was in trouble. Okay, I don't know how much of a difference that actually makes, but I did it anyways. So if we find the exit again, we'll go that way. We'll just leave, I guess. Because, you know... I mean, what's the point in sticking around at this point? Oh man, I didn't want to go back here. Crap. Unfortunately, I'm not very good with directions, so. Oh, there's the outbuilding. Okay. So then this one here must lead to, um,. The exit, right? Please lead to the exit. Yay! Okay. I hope I did everything correctly that time. 99? What does that mean? I don't remember that last time. Step through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory where I'd worked as a machinist for all those years. Okay. Yep. Contents were tossed around. I thought, okay, yep. Let's double check it. Yep, okay. The door was locked shut. Danger, close for repairs. There was a large power box with five lights on it. Cable bursting out of the box. And okay, we have. The middle was already where. Yeah, I remember this one. <sighs> of course. Okay. What if I try to get this again? Oh, nope. Okay. I was wondering if it would, um. Again, if I could just kick it open because I was able to with the other one. Oh, I guess we're going upstairs then. So much for my, uh, bad leg really causing me problems, huh? Bad leg's being a real sumbush right now. Running up and down all these stairs. I think we've pretty well established someone's out in these woods drinking. I don't think that's really, um, up for debate. So I don't think the beer bottles really need to be of note. So, okay, Norman was the guy who, who was killed in this store that we found later on. Okay. But that's fine. Hmm, a power panel. I like that in games, electricity is really easy to figure out. Like you always get like a noise and a light that says, yeah, it's working. Uh, 
That one I need the card for. I can see the little card. Maybe it's just supposed to be the echoing of my um, footsteps, but it really sounded like a heartbeat behind me. Oh, I don't like that at all. Okay, I need the hammer for that. Or crowbar. Oop, oop. This was Norma's locker. Yeah, which would make sense that I would come through here and be like, I'm gonna beat up Norman's locker. Because he stole Rachel from me. Boop, boop, boop. A utility shelf. Yes, I want the claw hammer. I want, the, as a matter of fact, I want the entire utility shelf. I'd feel so much safer if I just took the whole thing with me. Locker was a complete mess. Yep, I want that. I don't know why they... That's a weird noise. For the, <laughs> for the picking up a card sound, it's very much like you're smacking several together. Yep. I remember you. You had to click on me three freaking times. There we go. Okay, cool. I think that's all of them. over. Step with the spooky noises. This was my locker. Picture Rachel on the inside. Yeah, okay, this definitely gotta be some weird time travel crap. There's no other explanation for all of this. Did I go over here already? Yes, I did. That was the, uh, that was the board up door open. Sorry, I don't know why, but I, like, totally blanked that out of my mind that that was what I did. That's fine. I think we want the um the like the magnetic cards over here, right? Yes. Key card I found, yep. Yep. That's why I picked it up was so I could use it. Some kind of ventilation back here. Yep, let's do it. My leg hurt enough. I don't care. Well, don't land directly on the broken leg then. There was a crumpled up letter on the floor. It had been scratched out heavily and it was hard to make out. I did try to read the letter. Did I do it? Yep. Most of the letter was violently scratched out. And it looked to be a ballpoint pen. All I can make out was need to, just don't, drinking, need Norman. Who was Norman writing to? <laughs> the room was at the top of the plant. Oh. The one with all the bottles. It was really getting to me. Maybe I was just distracted. We went up there and used that room. The 
I exited the factory, I didn't recognize where I was going. My head ached terribly. My leg was a mess. Wait, no. Go back at the factory. Better be way back in that factory. I'm so pissed. Yeah, I hear you back there, second footsteps. I just don't care. It's better to get back into the factory and be pissed. Damn it! I didn't finish exploring the factory. I didn't realize that was going to kick me out like that. Around Norman's place? Wait, yes. Son of a bitch. I guess I'm pausing here and I'm replaying up until that point to see if I can get into there. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I hate this shit. Like, how on earth was I supposed to know it was going to kick me out? Like, give me a warning. Because why would I assume that would lead to a room in the factory that I couldn't get back into the factory from? Oh, I'm pissed. The whole point of replaying this was so I could get the correct ending, and now I'm going to have to play all over again. I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, real quick. Sorry if you guys can hear the fan in the background. I wasn't expecting this. Um, I was actually just randomly clicking through the bushes trying to find the notebook. And I came across a campsite. It's the girls' campsite, apparently. So I guess I'm trying to figure out where they were killed at. Um, the inside of the tent looked to be in order. It only contained two sleep. Okay. Um... That's weird, because I'm not standing in front of the tent. I'm standing in front of this thing. Two full... Ah, there you go. The round one was knocked over. Four girls were here. They obviously ran off. Okay. There were cans of beer spilled in the ground, and the dirt was kicked up. Who could have possibly wanted to hurt those two girls? So weird. I Because I could have sworn I finished everything in the forest. Apparently, I didn't. So, I guess it's a good thing that I had to restart. I haven't found, like, any new items, but I did find this new trail. So, I guess I just gotta keep clicking around until I find where they were murdered? I don't know. I guess I'll just keep looking around. I'll update, I'll, I guess I'll update you guys if I find anything else weird. Okay, I'm back. I was actually just about to walk into the power plant and I realized I'd never walked through the hole in the fence. Uh, in my first playthrough, I just exited the power plant without realizing how I exited the power plant. In my second one, I did it again. So I never went back and went through this fence. So I just found another dead body. 
I found the body of a security guard, just doing his job, no doubt. His face was covered with blood from some kind of head wound. I wondered, was the flashlight his? I saw the blunt wound on the guard's head, and it looked again, and looked again at the flashlight I was carrying. Oh, please, no. Dug in the ground was a cracked old watch. My First my wallet, now this. Oh, I didn't even know I was missing a watch. The watch was useless, but I put it on my wrist anyway. Okay, so yeah, I thought I was doing a good job of investigating. Apparently, I wasn't. All right, about to go into the power plant. Apparently, I'm going to go back to the fence. I'm shocked that it hasn't accidentally happened yet, honestly. Um, so I'm going back into the power plant now. I'm going to go through and get back to the point I was before I had the power going. I'm not going to walk through the security gate door. Because that's what screws me over. I just need to remember not to do that. Um, and I think I've picked up everything I need to along the way. I think I've pretty well copied what I was doing before. Aside from the two things that I accidentally discovered. That being the campsite and this now dead security guard. Uh, Alright, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. I believe I've collected everything I need. I've got the the power running again. The power box looks like it was running again. I guess those switches must have done the trick. Okay. With the power box working in, the door was unlocked. Do I go through? Please don't let this be a mistake. I pushed the handle and stepped through the door. A rack of flashlights hung on the wall. One of them was missing. My flashlight. Wait a minute. They were exactly the same as the flashlight I was carrying. I turned mine over and looked at the bottom. Judging by the label, it definitely could have come from that rack. The stale scent of old factory gave way to the brisk odor of pine trees and dirt. I was back outside. I wasn't sure if that was better or worse. The path beyond was dark and my flashlight barely illuminated anything. I wondered if it had really taken it from the factory or how did I get it? That poor guard. He was probably just doing his job. Maybe he knew that was... He was going on... Maybe he knew what was going on in that boarded up room. If he did, he wouldn't be telling anyone that tale. Uh, I hope the path will lead back to the town. I need to find some help. Mother... I hate this. I absolutely fucking hate this. Because there was another door that would have unlocked with that. Plus I had the top room to explore. I'm not going back again. Fuck that. This is just how it's ending. A pickup had smashed into the guardrail. It stood silent. Is this the truck that the newspaper clippings mentioned? Was there really a body found here, too? I looked closer at the tailgate. I could see a series of dirty, oh, dried streaks down its back. Inside the truck was dried blood and broken glass. I was surprised this hadn't been towed away yet. I don't understand. <sighs> I don't understand why you don't that why there's no warning. Hey, if you step through this door, you can't go back. I don't care if it's ringing again. I'm mad. I've already read this before. I'm 
don't be pissed about that. Because there's no saving in between. I can't man. I can, but as soon as the game enters a certain spot, it automatically saves, which overwrites my save. So I can't go back. So if I want to go back there again, I have to go through the entire game again. I don't care no one's dead. I just don't care. Oh yeah, I found a hairpin, I remember that, okay. way angrier than I need to be, but that's so frustrating because I already had to restart once because the game did that to me. Which would be very... I didn't want to... I don't want to hate this game, but I'm starting to hate this game. I've already had to restart once because the game decided that I got to be locked out of the the thing. Like, come on, let me go back. The entire point of this game is that way you can find clues so you can figure out what happened. But if I walk through a door and I'm not allowed to go back into the building I just came from, that kind of precludes me from being able to finish the game properly. I don't care. Just put it back. Hopefully there's enough time for anybody who wants to read these, but we've already read these. So I just kind of skipped them. Probably one of the things that makes this game take so long is the bit is the dialogue moves across very slowly and I don't recall there being any options to change anything um, I just remember continuing a restart button third ones are so what if I just skip the third one I think that one's ours Like 
outside. It was my house. Neighbor's local. Oh, that's right. We found this letter to um, Norman from Rachel. Oh, no, I guess it was from Rachel to Norman, not the other way around. Sorry. Stay away, she's mine. That was it. No signature. Oh, that changed the letter. Shit, I didn't go into his... I didn't go into his attic. You're supposed to go into his attic and find Rachel's stuff. I don't even care. I'm just so pissed. I... I'm so frustrated with that. This was a game where going back and forth or finding information didn't really change how the game was played. It wouldn't matter. But it's so important.
everything, then there's going to be a different ending than if you don't. Because clearly things have changed since the last time I, uh, from the first playthrough I did where I didn't grab a lot of stuff. They were all cool. Oh, those were the old Christmas decorations. Garbage bags. Yep. I have no idea what this key is for. There are old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. Or, you know, you could just, if it, you just run through it, it feels like that would also, if it's poorly put, if it's poorly constructed and it's just drywall, I feel like you could burst through there, if you really wanted to get through there. Positive. Just feels like that's gonna be the case. Yeah, she's probably fine. Don't look. I'm gonna look. Can't tell me what to do, Walt. But inside that tattered mask was no sign of my beloved wife. Rachel wasn't there. I looked around in confusion, trying to figure out what to do next. She wasn't there. Where was she? What, been, what had I been searching for this entire time? I remembered the look on Rachel's face when I came home, didn't I? Then the awful realization hit me right in the gut. I'd been looking at this the wrong way, hadn't I? This is what you've been trying to tell me all along, isn't it? I couldn't find Rachel there. I wouldn't find her anymore. Anywhere else, because... She was never there at all, was she? I still went back. What? My mind was spinning, and the ache I felt before was near crippling. Finally, I could no longer fight the exhaustion, and as I tried to grab hold of something that would make sense of this, I must have drifted it off. Do I control the reality of whether or not Rachel's in there? That's interesting. I like to remember things my own way. Okay. Okay, Norman store, that forest, the water tower, was it at those places before? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm very confused. You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say Rachel's setting us up. That's what's going on. No, there was no way there was me out there. I woke up in that house, remember? I wasn't off in the damn forest. I, I, I guess these books were all actually mine then. Wait, 
Wait, do I have like a split personality? Am I also Rachel? What is going on? I'm confused. in those tunnels? Couldn't be sure. He could have been another victim. After all, he was dead when I woke up. I legitimately don't know what the hell's going on. I am so confused. using that locker room, but it definitely wasn't me. Giving up drinking, remember? No, actually, I don't remember. I'll have to finally run out of power. Oh, why didn't you play that, you dingus? I think that's all the rooms up here, right? Yeah, because that was the bookcase room, okay. I literally don't know what I'm doing anymore. Gotta have been wet in the rain. Somebody had obviously had it out for Norman, but who? No, no, not Norman. If I was wrong about Rachel, then I never got him. Did I kill him? I couldn't have. I clearly wasn't seeing things for but no, I would never do something like that. That note wasn't for me. I don't know, I'm just gonna say no to everything because at this point I'm so confused. At this old TV for so long, I. Oh, that's actually different, because um, in the previous playthrough, that was a flat screen. And they had an argument about it buying it. important at the time. I don't know the code. I surmise that at least two of the names were victims, okay? Those war girls that I found dead in the forest. I wondered what had happened to the other names on that list. The ones that were scratched out in the desk in the wet tunnels. If it's the old office safe, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that the fucking key codes in that room I didn't get to go into. Because this game hates me. It seemed like I'd seen all that there was. Maybe I, I thought I was ready to go back to the basement. Okay. Maybe there wouldn't be anything for me to find, but I had to take a last look. We have a, that ring doorbell, and I got an alert that my sister's cat wanted in. The hole was cracked and pitted. I was told by an inspector the basement had been partially filled in before I bought the house. By the look of the wall, I was going to need to fix the foundation. Everything's still messy and old down there. If I was guilty, I could take this to be a warm, safe place and do something about it. Pick up the knife took the knife and kept it firmly in my hand. Well, one of the achievements, the pile of mail on the floor, and also was addressed to me. Bills, credit card offers, and a letter from the bank. They were all addressed to me. I knew I needed to escape that nightmare. But what about the knife that I still carried? Where, even if I left, would it really be over? Did I leave that house forever? Sure. Since 
Since I'd arrived at town, things had been difficult. Working in the plan, though it had been good for me, it kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that's when I started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. Drinking was probably just a way to deal with that. It was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain in. It's okay. Thinking, oh, things stopped making sense after some time after that, and my memories were still in flux. I suppose that when Rachel came along, this night would have been the worst of my entire life. Would it even be possible to bounce back from everything that's happened, everything I'd seen? You know, in a way, I almost wish I hadn't even woken up that night or tonight. It would have been, it would have spared me a lot of pain. What had happened to the other man I found in that ha old house? Had I killed him? Is that why I was locked in that room? Or did you? After making, making it out of the tunnels, though I, tunnels, I thought those sewers might feel safer. I was wrong. The security tape I had watched showed someone being attacked by what looked like two people. But who was, but who was it that was attacked? You know, I didn't know who had taken my wallet, but I knew it wasn't me who was, had been all over town at no moments or in that, or in that forest. I don't care what you think. I may be mad, but it wasn't me. There were plenty of other people to blame for this. Why don't you start thinking about them instead? Just for a second, though, think about something else. Think about those poor girls that I had accidentally discovered in the old forest. The notebook that I found in the woods that had the names in it. Names I think I saw before somewhere else. I couldn't have been me behind it, could it? I would never do such a thing to sweet innocent people. I know what you're thinking. The factory, that room with all the bottles and the old locker. You think it was me going back there, don't you? Well, even you admitted it wasn't. So how could it be? No. Someone else must have been there, going there. But think, who else could have done it? I had to catch my breath, to take it all in. At each point until the factory, everything only got, had only gotten worse. But then going to Norman's store, that's where the confusion and doubt started to set in. That's when my perspective of all this really started to change. Oh, Norman, I don't know how you got mixed up in all this, but someone had killed you. My head was a mess. Everything ached and it was foggy. So I don't know if you deserve what you've gotten in the end. We were friends once, weren't we? Did you know about this? Did you know what Rachel was? But as painful as it was, oh no, I couldn't bear to think of it again. After all, I'd seen and done, finally come home, was supposed to be at the end of this entire ordeal. I had no idea, though, that it was only the beginning. The silence in the house when I first stepped through the kitchen door, that should have been my first clue. To think that I went through all of this completely unaware of what I would discover. You know, before the end, did you mock me when you finally showed me the truth? You don't know what it's like to have everything ripped away from you in a heartbeat. How could I possibly go on knowing what I, knowing what I do without Rachel? Even the thought of Rachel, I was truly lost. As the door swung open, I smelled the damp, damp grass and the closeness of the air. Everything, after everything, it felt like I had more questions than answers. Yeah, I'll agree with you on that one. You made me see the truth. I'll give you that. But now I was completely lost. You took everything away. Uh, you, oh, you took away the only thing that kept me going. I was sure. I was sure what word would get out, and soon enough the police would come for me. And then, and then, and what then? Oh my gosh. Would you be there to show me the other way? What will I do then? I just, I don't. Slipping away. I don't understand. I'm very confused. I know that there's multiple endings. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till the end of this and see if I can reload. Because I think once I have the knife, I can get a different ending. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I saw it in the achievements. In the case of my wife, Nancy, watch your back. Um, and if I can, I'd like to just get that achievement now. I do like to get um, all the achievements in the game if I can. Okay, play again. Damn it, it's going to kick me back to the beginning.
I honestly don't want to play this game again. Nope. I'm not super stoked on doing this again. It was just, yeah, if you press space, it just immediately kicks you into here. So, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. No, 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 no. I'm still pissed about what happened. Like, one time I get it, all right, fine. There's a door that if you go through, you have to start the game over again if you want to collect everything. Fine, I can deal with that. But don't have it, don't have multiple doors that do that, especially without a warning. If I had walked up to that door and it said, hey, if you go through this door, you won't be able to go back, I would have been okay with that. I would have been like, all right, let me turn around, I'll go through the other door and see what I can find. I, I guess the thing is, is maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe I missed something, but it kind of feels like the evidence doesn't really add up to anything in particular, right? Because if I was a killer, why would I go around just throwing my shit everywhere for someone else to find? That doesn't make sense. So clearly somebody else has to be the killer, right? But everyone who, but what was with the list of names then? Why would I have a list of names? I don't, am I just a serial killer, but like a terrible, like a really bad serial killer? Like I'm bad at doing it. What is going on? I'm confused. I'm going to look up, uh, I'm probably going to end up looking it up and just trying to figure out what the hell the story is actually supposed to be. Again, maybe I'm just stupid, but I kind of feel like it doesn't really add up to a satisfying end. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.